It's not a guy. <laughs> So now we're going to talk about the normal sequence of electrical activation within the heart. Notice we have the SA node, the sinoatrial node, is located high up in the right atrium. It is the pacemaker. It fires off action potentials that spread from the right atrium over to the left atrium and down to the atrioventricular node located right about here. After some slowing of conduction in the AV node, we have the signal get to the His bundle, or bundle of His, which then divides into a thicker left bundle branch and a thinner right bundle branch that run along the interventricular septum. Now the left bundle branch also has two divisions as well. And as the depolarization spreading down along the interventricular septum, the spread of action potentials will go from the left bundle branch and spread in the rightward direction. Once we get down to the apex of the heart, we see that we have the penetration of the right ventricle with the Purkinje fibers here on the right coming off the right bundle branch and the same thing on the left. Purkinje fibers here penetrating the left ventricular muscle. And that is how the depolarization spreads. Let's take a look at summarizing this and we can see we start with the SA node being the pacemaker again in the right atrium. The depolarization goes to the right atrial muscle over to the left atrium next and down to the atrioventricular node where we then go to the His bundle splitting into the left and right bundle branches and then onwards to the right ventricle and left ventricle Purkinje fibers ultimately depolarizing the right ventricle and left ventricle respectively. Also as a reminder the interventricular septum depolarizes first off of branches running along the left bundle branch.